Hello and welcome to this Top Down Engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Momontens and today we're going to see how we can create and set up moving platforms in the Top Down Engine. So uh, right now I'm in the Koala 2D demo scene and uh, if if you go over there in this corner of the demo level uh, you'll find a moving platform that you can hop on uh, to help you cross the bridge. And if we select it, uh, you'll see it has a bunch of components. We'll go back to that, but uh, you'll see it has a, uh, a number of options for cycles and you can do fun stuff like increase the speed. And even though, you know, the speed is super fast, you can still move on the platform and you won't, you won't be ejected or something. Uh, you can make it, you can make it crazy fast. Uh, it's extremely robust. So um, you can have uh, the movement be on an animation curve, or you can have an ease out, or you can decide that it's a constant speed. Uh, you can change also the update mode, but uh, I wouldn't recommend changing it because then you will start getting uh, weird stuff. So if you want it to be in sync with your character, you want to uh, keep it to fixed update. And you can also change the distance to goal. We'll go back to that. You can also find examples of uh, moving platforms in other scenes. You'll find one in the minimal sandbox 2D over there. If you press play, you'll see it behaves pretty much like the previous one. It moves like that. Uh, and you'll find another one in 3D this time in the minimal sandbox 3D demo scene over there. And you'll see that this one uh, makes a loop. And it has robust and efficient in 2D and 3D. Uh, you just have to hop on top of it. And then if you select it and increase the speed, even to crazy speed, you know, it's still completely safe. So let's say we want to create a moving platform. Uh, I'm gonna put myself in the minimal scene 3D, which is basically the, the same as the other one without all the mess. Um, and I'm gonna go grab maybe uh, a prototype prop. Um, I'm feeling feeling blue. Uh, and yeah, I'll take one like this. So it's simply uh, a model with a box collider and I'm gonna rotate it on the x-axis like that. And just to keep things uh, separated, I may create maybe uh, a child of that, make sure it's at zero and, you know, put it, put it like that. So now the model is, is really separate from the logic uh, and I'm gonna call that moving platform blue for example um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy my box collider from here paste it over there remove it from here and just that's that's a weird way of doing things I agree but uh, let's say 0.25 I guess and size 4 all right so uh, now I have my collision logic on this level and I have my model on this level uh, I'm also gonna unpack this thing so it's it's just unrelated from any prefab it's just just a model I can even rename it model um, now I want to make sure that my box collider is set to non-trigger which is the case and I'm going to add a rigid body to it and on my rigid body I want to make sure that it is um, set to schematic like that. Then what you want to do is add uh, a moving platform script to your platform. So um, we are in a 3D environment, so we're gonna pick the moving platform 3D component. Uh, we can fold these two. And uh, from there, it's just a matter of tweaking that to your liking. 
So uh, the first thing you want to do is define the number of path elements that you want. So your platform is going to move along a path and you can decide that it has, you know, one, two, three, uh, well, minimum two actually, but um, as many path elements as you want. So let's go with three, for example. And I'm going to switch my view to uh, a top-down view like that. And I'm going to drag these green handles over there. And as you can see, they're going to update uh, the position of my elements. And I'm going to leave the last one here. So um, if I go back to my scene like that and I just press play, you'll see that it's already working. I have a moving platform. It's not moving really fast, but it's moving. And I can already, you know, uh, travel on that. There are a bunch of settings I can I can set for my platform. The first one is the cycle option. I can have it go back and forth, in which case it would go 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, and so on. Or I can make it loop. And in this case, you see it adds a tiny, uh, tiny line here. So it goes 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So let's say I want to go like that. Uh, I can also define the initial movement, so ascending or descending. Ascending would be 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. back to 0, or descending would be 0, 2, 1, 0, etc. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on ascending. I can change the movement speed, we've seen it was uh, quite slow, let's take it up to 5. I can decide on an acceleration type, so uh, constant speed, ease out, animation curve. Um, let's go with ease out maybe. Update mode, as I said before, you'll want to leave it to fixed update. And uh, the minimum distance to go is basically uh, used to check that the platform is going to move along the path. And as soon as it reaches that minimum distance from uh, wherever it is to 1, uh, it will move to 2. So by default, I'd suggest leaving it to 0 0.1, but uh, you'll see how it goes if I press play. Um, so right now it's moving and, and going, it's changing direction, going to the next um, dot on the line uh, when it reaches 0 0.1 unit to that point. But uh, let's say I change it to 1, you see that it changes direction. Maybe if I, I change it to 5, well, 5 is too much, but uh, to 3, you know, it, it, it would change direction earlier. So usually you want to leave it to something really small, but you know that's that's an option uh, something you can do and the push force finally is something that um, will apply a force to your character so i'm going to put myself on the pass you see that it it pushes me slightly uh when it hits me and that's the push force so you could you could decide to have a force that is much much higher let's say 15 so depending on the speed of your uh, platform you'll want to make it higher so that, that's something you want to tweak uh, maybe you know uh, 25 or something you want to make it strong enough that it is yeah this is much better you see I, I don't get teleported again um, yeah this is good so that's really something you want to tweak based on the speed of your platform there's no magic number for that um, that's pretty much it when it comes to moving platforms in the context of the top-down engine. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.